everybody, Rathko G here bringing you another, well, no one can necessarily call it a figure view, it's a multi-figure view. Today is the Son of Godzilla special. Sorry for keeping you guys waiting, been busy with, uh, you know, things and uh, life and stuff like that. But I will be giving you more Godzilla and other kaiju content. Now today I have for you the triple set Showa series. Bandai Japan, uh, Kamakuras or Kamakuras, however you would say that, along with the Bandai Japan Kumanga set. Now, story of these guys is that I've always thought that Bandai Japan never made a Kumanga or a um, Kamakuras or I, I call them Kamakuras really or Kamakuras, but on eBay. I believe it or not, I actually found them. Found a Bandai Japan Kumanga. And found the triple set of the Kam Kamakuras. Or Kamakuras. <laughs> Whatever you pronounce it. I always call them Kamakuras, really. Alright, guys, let's get started with this review. For articulation with Kumanga, he has. Well, let me show you. He is, all of his legs can rotate, but only here at only here not exactly here can also wrote all of them can rotate 360 degrees this thing can this can he can kind of bend a bit not exactly bend see like he's made out of this plasticish feature not this exact bandai mold he's like a lot softer forgot to show you guys that he can well he they can rotate all of them can 360 360 degrees now for the oldest uh, Kamakuras brother his head can rotate 360 degrees he can also churn at the waist 360 degrees like that now for the middle-aged brother he can also rotate at the waist 360 degrees he does not have a rotatable head it is very stiff has no articulation there for the youngest brother his arms are the only, he's the only one with rotatable arms. His arms can rotate 360 degrees while his head can rotate 360 degrees. Also rotatable at the waist at 360 degrees. That's about I got much I have to show you guys for the Son of Godzilla review special. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the size comparison. Now, if we're looking at the sculpt of the Kamakuras figures, we have three types. I assume there are three brothers. We have the um, one where, where we have pink eyes and the closed, uh, the closed claws that are folded in, and he looks all down like this. This is my least favorite. We have an open mouth, nice fur detail, silver paint, tan uh, down his stomach, and right here, marmot toho. Uh, I have silver painted fur right here, a bit silver detail on his wings, also silver running down the spikes right here as he spiked the rough detail here. Has the multi eye looking effect in his eyes, very nice. Have these little antenna things here. Um, well, that's for, that's for this figure. Now, for I believe is the oldest brother, we have uh, orange eyes, not very, his head does not articulate. Uh, we have the silver extended claws, one straight, one hook, just like in the movie. Uh, his legs are also uh, the same uh, silverish red paint detail. Has also the tan going down his uh, bottom of his neck all the way down to the edge of his tail. We have the split sore thing at his tail. Uh, his wings are in, while the youngest brother's, his tail's like that. His um, tail comes out a little more. I'm not sure if you can see it. They kind of look the same. His looking out more, I'm not sure, but in, uh, for his wings, his wings are in, and his wings are puffed out. And for, he also has the spikes detail on his back, and he does not have many much, uh, articulation. Now, let's get started with the, I believe it is the middle-aged brother. We have, like, a golden, greenish-yellow eyes with a multi-eye set, a articulated head. We'll get into articulation soon. He also has the spike detail, a little bit of black here on his... Wait a minute. Oh. I think this is the oldest brother, my, guys. My bad. 
He has the blackish burnt detail right here, especially going down his wings. He has a silver where his uh, tail splits right here. Also has, seems to be all red right here, but silver in the front. Same thing for his hooks. He has the furry, uh, fuzzy insect-like mouth. Kind of right here, let me get a good picture of it here, right there. And for, he has uh, these kind of overlapping pieces right here. Kind of looks like they're, they cut right there to get off that good detail house. That's a nice little fur detail right here. Also finishing off on him, we will also do articulation. Now let's get on to it. Starting out with Kamanga, bring him up close. We have a very nice sculpt, very pronounced detail of his eyes. Also his back. We also has good definition of his fur around uh, his mouth and I guess you'll call him not exactly how you'll call him. Very good detail. Very uh oh mandibles, I guess that's what you'll call him. He has the fur detail around his mandibles. Very nice blue eyes. They should at least add more detail. They make it show like that multi-eye effect, but they just paint it all blue. But it's good enough for me. We have the uh Writing right here. I'm sure if the camera can make it out. Um, right there, made in Japan. Um, we have also the greenish yellow detail on his on his legs. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. Also on the his back here. Same for at least behind his head. And also on the tips of his claws, if you, I mean, tip of his, uh, ah, fuck it, what the hell you'll call him. Um, now, Frilly, for, uh, he doesn't really come with much detail. He's more like an, he doesn't really have much points of articulation either, but we'll get to articulation in a moment. For size comparison, I'm bringing in the 1968 Bandai Japan American Godzilla, including the Bandai Japan Showa series Anguirus. Now, we can see that uh, Godzilla and uh, Anguirus do have rather a fair, accurate size, but you know me, I'm, I'm going to really depend on SH Monster Arts. Now, to be dead honest with you guys, I don't know if you guys can really find them. They're quite, quite rare figures. Well, not these guys. The Kamakura set and the... Uh, and Kamanga. I'm just gonna wait for SH Monster Arts to do it. I'm putting all my hope in them now. I mean, honestly, I'm done with Bandai. I'm just gonna go with SH Monster Arts. Well, guys, till next time, Rathko G out.